the right of first refusal provides leaseholders, otherwise known as tenants, with the opportunity to purchase the freehold of their building when the freeholder is offering the interest for sale. This is a legal right set out by the Landlord and Tenant Act 1987, which also stipulates a range of criteria that both the property and leaseholders must satisfy in order to qualify for the right of first refusal. Tenants must have a long lease of at least 21 years, must not own more than two flats, and must not have a shorthold or assured tenancy. The property must contain at least two flats, more than 50% of the flats must be owned by qualifying tenants, and no more than 50% of the building can be in non-residential use. The freeholder must not have lived in the property as their only principal residence for the past 12 months. If the qualification criteria are satisfied, the freeholder must serve a Section 5 notice to qualifying tenants to offer them the right of first refusal to purchase the freehold. There are five different Section 5 notices which relate to how the freehold will be sold. Section 5A is used for a private sale, Section 5B for a sale by public auction, Section 5C for a grant of an option or right of preemption, Section 5D for a sale not pursuant to a contract, and finally Section 5E for a sale for a non-monetary consideration. Each notice has a different process and strict timelines which must be followed correctly in order for the sale transaction to be legally compliant. If a freeholder fails to offer the right of first refusal or does not do so correctly, they can face a hefty fine, prosecution and a criminal conviction. Furthermore, the disposal may be challenged by the leaseholders or any of their successors who could compel a resale to them on the same terms as it was sold to the other party. So if you're a freeholder, it's advisable to seek professional assistance for the preparation and service of these notices to ensure that you are fully compliant and that your sale completes without any serious problems. For more expert guidance, please subscribe to this channel. And if you require assistance with any of the topics discussed, please visit our website to explore our range of services.